Kang Kyung Hwa, who currently works at the UN as special policy advisor to the Secretary General, is tapped as a new top diplomat for South Korea. She says she'll do her best if she gets the job and plans to be back in Seoul in the coming days. Connie Kim gets us better acquainted with South Korea's first female foreign minister nominee. North Korea's nuclear issue goes beyond the Korean peninsula and remains a major pending issue on the international stage. I have a great deal of experience dealing with a range of issues on the global level, and I plan to contribute based on my experience. That's the promise made by Kang kyung hwa South Korea's foreign minister nominee, while speaking to reporters for the first time following President Moon's announcement Sunday of his cabinet picks. If confirmed by the National Assembly, Kang would become South Korea's first female foreign minister. And her resume jumps off the page. She entered politics in 1990, assisting the then National Assembly speaker, and made a name for herself in the diplomatic field, serving as an interpreter for the late former president, Kim Dae-jung. Nine years later, Kang entered the foreign ministry as a specialist in international relations, exempt from the state exam for career diplomats, and served as an aide to then foreign minister Hong Sun Young. In 2005, she led the ministry's International Organization Bureau, becoming only the second woman to serve in a post of that rank. A year later, she started her career at the United Nations. She has appointed the UN Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights and has been mostly working on issue in human rights and aid over the past 10 years. Kang's first task when she returns to Seoul will be to pass a notorious National Assembly confirmation hearing. She does have issues to address in her ethics credentials. It's already known that her eldest daughter chose U.S. citizenship over her Korean nationality and that Kang registered a false address to ensure her daughter would be accepted into a certain high school. Most foreign ministry officials say the nomination came as a shock as she has a non-traditional background as a diplomat and does not have much experience in North Korea's nuclear issues. But still, quite a few officials say the change is positive and believe she can expand the country's diplomatic purview beyond the North Korea question. Connie Kim, Audio News.